What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Tesla stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I have to say that we have a lot of positive news directly related to Tesla. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video several days ago, right here at this point, when we had this bounce from its lowest point. And right here I've told you that we completed all five wave structure. Let me show you more thoroughly. And this structure uh, completed the C wave of retracement from its uh, swing high from uh, $1,151. And uh, most likely we completed all five waves. This means uh, we completed the bottom of the fourth wave. And if it is the case, uh, we have one more, at least one more leg to the upside from this swing low at the price point of uh, uh, $689. And by the way, guys, uh, I have to say that uh, I nailed the majority of movements of Tesla. And you can uh, watch my video, the summary of my technical analysis in the description below and on your top right corner. And there you can find that my win rate on Tesla is uh, roughly 80%. This means you can rely on my technical analysis as a part of your due diligence. So, what should we expect next from the technical standpoint, I will show you in just several minutes. But for now, let's continue with the news. And first of all, the main news right now directly related to entire market is right here. The Fed is expected to rise rates by a half point. Investors wonder if uh, it will get more aggressive. And uh, definitely, in a matter of uh, next several hours, we will see the result of uh, the federal meetings. And uh, let me quote you these bullets. The Federal Reserve is expected to rise interest rates uh, Wednesday for the second time uh, since uh, 2018, boosting the Fed Fund's uh, target rate by half a percentage point. The central bank is also expected to launch a program to reduce its massive bond holdings by $95 billion a month, starting in June. The markets are braced for a hawkish Fed, but many investors are wondering if Fed Chair Jerome Powell will signal that the central bank is willing to get even tougher with rate increases. And I have to say that uh, this is the main uh, bullet of uh, the entire article, because if the Fed uh, will uh, increase interest rates uh, by half a percentage point, it will be totally okay for markets because uh, it is already priced in uh, to the markets. But if uh, they will uh, disclose that uh, they will hike these rates uh, 4.75%, uh, definitely it will be a bearish sign for entire market and we will see lower price action for the major indexes. And this information will be disclosed in just several hours, so stay tuned. And uh, let's continue with the news directly related to Tesla. On April 29th, they uh, filed a 10K, uh, 10K report. And uh, on May the 3rd, they filed 8K report. And on the first report, uh, they stated that, uh, uh, let me quote it for you, we currently expect that our definitive proxy statement for the 2022 annual meeting of stockholders will be filed later than the uh, 120th day after the end of the fiscal year. This means uh, technically they postponed uh, the release of information uh, related to their potential stock split. And because of this information, some investors might think that Tesla has more bearish pressure on its stock. But I have to say that right after that, they filed an 8K report. And let me quote you this information. On May the 2nd, 2022, Tesla announced that it established a meeting date of August 4th, 2022 for its upcoming 2022 annual meeting of stockholders in Austin, Texas. The corresponding record date for determining the stockholders of the company entitled to notice of and to vote at the annual meeting will be June 6th, 2022. And definitely, uh, for now, we have the exact date. It is August the 4th. And this means... Uh, by the end of summer, we'll have uh, more information uh, about uh, their stock split. And why the stock split is so important? Let me show you right here that the previous stock split uh, that uh, was uh, on uh, September, at the very beginning of September 2020, 
What's the reason of uh, next uh, major movement to the upside for more than uh, 80% uh, in a matter of just three months? And uh, definitely it was a huge uh, spike in its price and from its lowest point right after the stock split was uh, made, uh, this uh, asset uh, went up uh, for more than 187%. Definitely stock split uh, might be a very good uh, bullish catalyst for this asset and that's why a lot of uh, investors are uh, waiting for this action. And let me show you another very good news. Uh, we know that uh, Tesla just launched its uh, Gigafactory, relaunched its Gigafactory after the uh, lockdown related to COVID-19. And let me quote you this uh, news. Uh, Tesla back up uh, to over 80% production output at Giga Shanghai. And let me quote you this. Based on new details shared by the chief engineer of the Shanghai Economics and Information Technology Commission, uh, Zhang Hontao, Tesla has ramped electric vehicle production in China back up to over 80% of capacity. Hontao added that many other companies in China are also successfully ramping up uh, after the lengthy lockdowns. And uh, on uh, one of my previous video, I've told you and I've showed you the news uh, that uh, uh, Tesla Shanghai might increase their production for a very long time because of uh, some uh, internal technical processes. But for now, we have this information that they already ramped up its produ production uh, for almost 80%. And definitely it is a very good sign. On top of that, let me show you right here. On uh, May the 3rd, we have this article that uh, Tesla says it will turn Shanghai into the world's largest vehicle export hub with a new factory. And let me quote you this. In a letter that Tesla sent to authorities on May 1st and obtained by Reuters, the automaker thanks local authorities in Shanghai, Lingang Special Area, for their help in transporting more than 6,000 workers and doing disinfection work to reopen Gigafactory Shanghai. More interestingly, Tesla mentioned in the letter the new factory that they are building next to Gigafactory Shanghai and confirmed that they plan to build Model 3 and Model Y vehicles there. According to the letter, the company will build a new plant on nearby land uh, in the same area, which is uh, poised to add an annual capacity of 550,000 uh, cars, including Model 3s and Model Ys, becoming the world's uh, largest vehicle export hub. There is no clear timeline for the expansion, but it looks like uh, it will bring Tesla's capacity in Shanghai to 1 million cars per year once completed. And it is a very wild expansion. Along with Giga Shanghai, Tesla is also simultaneously planned a similar capacity in Berlin and Texas. But the company plans also start with a capacity of 500,000 vehicles per year at each factory. We are talking about uh, 1.5 to 2.5 million vehicles of annual production com capacity to be added in the next two to three years. And these numbers are really impressive and definitely it is a very good news uh, related to Tesla. So let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? If uh, my Elliott wave breakdown is correct and if we have, uh, let me clean the chart a little bit, if we have uh, this uh, point as our lowest point and if we completed uh, the entire ABC correction to this uh, lowest point, definitely we have more chances to hit higher targets from our current range. And uh, to project targets, I pulled the Fibonacci extension tool from the bottom of the third wave to the top of the third wave and to the bottom of the retracement right here. And the main targets are following. It is $1144 and it is the confluence with our previous swing high. And next one is one to one extension and it is $1231 and it is the confluence with our all time high right here at the beginning of November 2021. And definitely it is a very viable target in a matter of next several months. So, what should you do if you want to enter the position? If you are a swing trader, you can add your position right here, but you have to accumulate all the way down. And your stop loss uh, might be slightly below previous bottom, and uh, it gives you about 6% uh, of downside potential. But the upside potential for the first target will be about 30%, and uh, to the second target will be about 40%. This means risk-to-reward ratio of this setup will be more than... Uh, 
five to one and definitely it is a very lucrative uh, position with tesla but if you want to enter your long-term position with tesla just accumulate on every daily red candle and the main target for you is definitely the same range of uh, previous all-time high but in the long run we have uh, even more targets and then the next uh, range is uh, 1374 dollars it is one to one extension on a greater scale and the most aggressive target uh, for the long-term holders is right here 1.618 extension level at the price point of roughly $1,800. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!